Hello Shopify merchants. In our previous video, we went over how to set up this jewelry bundle using the simple bundles infinite options bundle type. Um, however, sometimes you may already have a options app set up like infinite options by Shopad or hot product options. Uh, so in this video, we'll go over how to set this up using the infinite options um, app here. So firstly, I'm going to go ahead and remove this we set, uh, that we set up in our previous uh, video. So here under theme preferences, I'm going to go ahead and uninstall this from my minimal theme. And what this should do is basically remove the options. I'm also going to go ahead and select the use third party app product options. So the app doesn't prompt me to uh, configure my options. So secondly, what I'm going to do is basically go back to my uh, bundle setup here. I've already added all the products, uh, but I'm going to go into back into my options. So that way I can replicate this exactly in infinite options app. And here I want to make sure the option names and the values are set up exactly the same and mirrored basically in our infinite options uh, app. So firstly, I've gone ahead, ahead and set up a custom uh, or option set here with just the bundle name and set up the handle to the handle for the product. So I just copy pasted that uh, right here. Uh, so it basically shows me that this applies to the only the jewelry bundle here. So that works perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and click on add a custom field. And I know I, I need three of these uh, as it's laid out here. So I can go ahead and copy these as laid out. And I'm going to go ahead and paste these. Um, for the input type, you want to select the drop down menu for all of them. Um, you can go ahead and pick checkboxes or even swatches if you have images for each product option or color um, swatches that you want to build. But for uh, this example, I'm just going to go ahead to the drop down menu so it looks very similar to our previous example. And I'm going to go ahead and just replicate this. So there's blue and black here. So I'm going to basically copy this over. Uh, just make sure to add this, let's remove the commas. So you want this to be exactly as it's laid out and same in the same way, I can copy these and add gold and silver to the other options. Select drop downs here, go gold. Let's add another option and type in silver. And lastly, we want to make sure the other blue and purple is also added. So here, I'm going to go ahead and add this in both the cart and the product and select drop down menu. And I believe it's blue and purple. So now that we have that set up, and it looks like it all looks good here, uh, I want to basically go and make sure that these are all set to required. So these are all required fields. So let's go ahead and select those for all of these here. And there, and I can go ahead and click save. So this should be sa uh, saved on your storefront. Um, but before you know, we want to jump into the, I believe the settings and enable this and click on save. So this is enabled on your store. So now if I refresh, I should see this within a few um, seconds. There we go. Uh, now I'm seeing the options show up right from the internal options uh, section here. Um, and now that I've set up these options exactly as they're laid out uh, in my bundles app, I can go ahead and uh, basically test this out. So I'm going to select uh, blue, gold, and purple. I'm going to click on add to cart. Uh, blue, gold, and purple exactly as added uh, as I picked. I'm going to go ahead and click on checkout. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my cart. And let's continue payment. Put some um, bogus information here. And click on pay now here. So as this is completing, we can jump into our uh, admin uh, orders page and we should see this option or these uh, bundles added to our um, order, as well as the options that were picked, the blue, gold, purple, and you should see the bold, blue, gold, and purple options uh, added or the uh, bracelets added right into our order. So that's it. That's the, how to set up using Internet Options app. Uh, you can also use do this using other apps on the App Store. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our team and we'd be happy to help. Thanks.